Hello and good day to each and everyone. We are group 7 and we are here to give the integrals of these three given problems. Problem number 1. 5 raised to x dx. In this problem, we will use the formula of a raised to x dx equals a raised to x over ln a plus c. So, we will substitute the a to 5. So, the answer will be 5 raised to x over ln 5 plus c. The second problem is 2 raised to 5x dx. So, first, we will do the u substitution. So, our u will be equals to 5x. And in getting the du, we will find the derivative of 5x, which is 5dx. Since we didn't see any 5dx in our given, we will multiply both sides by 1 over 5. So, our du will be 1 over 5 du is equals to dx. Then we will substitute the u and du to our given, and we will have integral of 2 raised to u times 1 over 5 du. Since 1 over 5 is a constant, we will put it in front of the integral sign. Then we will use the formula of a raised to x dx over a raised to x over ln a plus c. So we will have 1 over 5 times the integral of 2 raised to u over ln 2. We will multiply the 1 over 5 to the integral of 2 raised to u over ln 2 and we will have 2 raised to u over 5 ln 2. We will, substitu we will substitute the u which is 5x and we will get 2 raised to 5x over 5 ln 2 plus c. Problem number 3. The integral of the quantity 1 minus cosine x multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus cosine x all over the quantity of 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x times cosine x dx. First, we will change the cosine and sine. The cosine will be sine x while the sine will be negative cosine. When we write it, it will be the integral of the quantity 1 minus sine x multiplied by one, the quantity of 1 plus sine x all over the quantity of 1 plus cosine x multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus cosine x times cosine x dx. Then we will multiply the same terms and change the cosine x to the identity. And when we write it, it will be the integral of the quantity 1 minus sine x squared all over the quantity of 1 minus cosine x squared times 1 over sine x dx. Then we will subtract the number 1 in the 1 minus sine x and 1 minus cosine x to cancel it. Then we will have the the sine squared x all over the cosine squared x times one over sine x dx. Then we will cancel the sine sine squared x and the sign in the and we will have the the integral of sine x over cosine x squared dx and then
we will separate it we will separate the cosine x squared and when we write it it will be integral of the sine x all over cosine x times 1 cosine 1 over cosine x dx and the final answer is tan x second x dx 2 second x plus c